Hi, this is MJ. Do subscribe my channel and uh, do share, subscribe, comment and like my channel and share as much as you can. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. So I'll come to my topic. Previously, we've done the glacial landforms, uh, Cirque, Hanging Valley, Horn, uh, sorry, that, that's Arn, HSL, Arn and that read so today we'll just discuss about it bit and then we'll forward to a, and then we'll shift towards our next uh, glacial features or you can say landforms so yeah just continue these are the pics as you can see here it's uh, you can this is known as cirque pyramid peak and a reed. i hope it's clear from the diagram or pic itself moving on to next uh, landform that is esker an esker is a long sinus ridge of material build up under the eyes as you can see the pic as well it's really clear from here i hope it's really clear to you and with the diagram it's it's really clear it's a ridge like structure not completely ridge but yes ridge then moving on further it's kettle hole kettles are small holes and uh, it can uh, it can be visible from uh, the satellite as well as you can move further and further so you'll be able to see small holes of kettles of course the size may vary uh, it can be of small but generally it tend to be small uh, it tend to be smaller than lakes or sort of it's a small hole which you can uh, see here and that's known as kettle moving on to next topic is fjord fjord uh, it's it's sometimes it's called it's uh, called dif uh, it's it is called with different names sometimes called fjord it's not j is silent it's called fjord of fjord of fjord but this uh, j is silent here fjord is uh, fjord uh, you can say that uh, yes fjord a narrow or you can say a long narrow piece of sea between cliffs especially in example you can say in norway or you can say that fresh water body that lies in sea or end up in sea that is known as fjord and moving on to next that is uh, next feature that is drumlins drumlins are nothing but uh, like egg like structure it is both erosional as well as uh, depositional landforms it falls in both the places we can say that uh, uh, egg basket like structure and it's uh, different from rosh mountain it's different from that so it's a bit different from crag and tail rosh mountain Rosh Mountain is a bit different from you can say Drumlin. So th that's uh, uh, Drumlin are a bit different and Crag and Tail versus Rosh Mountain. Rosh Mountain you can say that it is also known as Sheep Mountain. So yes, you do uh, uh, see that shape or the flow of ice and the wind direction you need to, uh, the direction you need to follow that. Yeah, then comes crag and tail. Crag and tail, we can say that these are the partly partially erosion depositional features. The rock face facing the ice is steepened by the glacial erosion. Material is deposited on the opposite side to form a tail of a boulder clay. So it's the opposite of Rush Mountain. Clear from the diagram and the pic as well. It's really clear, I hope. And then outwash plane, it's really very easy as you can see the diagram as well. And diagram as well. Uh, it's, it's generally known as... Uh, that plane formed of glacial sediments deposited by melt water or outwash at the terminus of a glacier that is generally termed as outwash plane that's really really cool and it's really easy i hope you will be able to understand this and do let me know what more you want to learn i'll definitely upload that and uh, that's it thank you this is mj signing off thank you